Hello, my name is Lee from Rush Productions and welcome to our history channel, Reach Out and Challenge History. We've brought you some great videos on this channel, from merchants houses to churches, uh, to how the rich lived. Uh, but our most popular one was Conway Castle. So we bring you to another great castle here in Warwickshire and I'll give you Kenilworth Castle. The castle was originally built during the reign of Henry I. In 1563, Elizabeth I granted it to her favourite Robert Dudley, Earl of Leicester, who converted the castle into a lavish palace fit to entertain his queen. Although the castle's fortifications were dismantled in 1650, many of the buildings remain unaltered since Elizabeth I's reign, and the spectacular ruins reveal much of Kenilworth's medieval and Tudor past. In the 13th century, King John created the outer walls of stone and a dam to hold back a great lake, so creating one of the most formidable fortresses in the kingdom. This gate was used to ferry supplies from boats into the castle. And in the 16th century, there used to be 200 lodges here. In the Civil War, Kenilworth was destroyed by the parliamentarians. So we're now entering Bob the castle, which I believe this used to be one of the main rooms. I mean, you see the fireplace here. Leicester's building was built unsurprisingly by Robert Dudley, Earl of Leicester, to whom Kenilworth Castle was granted by Queen Elizabeth I in 1563. He set out converting his new home into a sumptuous palace in which he hoped he and his intended wife, Queen Elizabeth I, would make their summer residence. Leicester's building was built outside the old inner curtain walls that contained the castle's inner course. It was built up from the old inner ditch and it is thought that this caused structural problems which forced the addition to a corner staircase tower on the right to shore the structure up. In the event this allows the creation of a private staircase to allow Elizabeth Dougley to be able to roam freely between the entertainment rooms and the bedroom suites above, unhindered by the mere mortals on the invite list to their near inner sanctum.
Okay guys, so we are standing next to the Queen's Chamber. I mean, can you guys imagine waking up to these fantastic views? Elizabeth I would have danced here with Robert Dudley and also held court. Castles have always fascinated me and how something so medieval can be created and still stand to this day and age. I mean, the brickwork is sandstone and it's local sandstone as well. And the amount of history and stories that these walls could actually tell of all these different things that happened here. I mean, it's fascinating really. And I mean, castles, they're such a work of art as well. Even the ruins are works of art. It's fascinating to us. Drainage system, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So we are now entering the state apartments. This once was literally nothing but luxury. You can see where the grand fireplaces were. It looks like they had pillars at one point. I mean, look at the detail in the wall, the way the carving is, with the different pillars on the side of the building. You can just imagine what it looked like 
in them times. This staircase was used by servants to bring drink food to the upper chambers. In 1266, Simon de Mumford held Kenilworth Castle against the king. Through an extraordinary six-month siege, the longest in English medieval history. The gardens were designed by Robert Dudley, the Earl of Leicester, for Elizabeth I's visit. In 1563, Elizabeth I granted Kenilworth to her childhood friend and favourite Robert Dudley, 
John's son and soon to be Earl of Leicester. She visited four times during progress throughout her realm. Her visit in the summer of 1575 was the longest she made to any courtier during her reign. Dudley's embellishment to the castle was intended to impress her. His changes to the landscape were certainly ambitious. This part of the gatehouse was originally the entrance to Kenilworth Castle. I mean, it's amazing that, you know, horses used to go through this and now it's a dining room, surrounded by all these different antiques. These costumes are replicas of Elizabethan dress. I mean, there's so much detail in the stitching and the way the clothes are. I mean, this now is called the Oak Room, and you can see why it's called the Oak Room. Would 
have been quite cold during the winter though. This room has something a little bit different. Can you see something that shouldn't be there? So now this is the history regarding the property itself, you know, regarding what um, Elizabeth was and what Dougley was and these are the different facts that we found. There's a lot of history and uh, I think you need to read the brochure or look online for what did happen there. Remember that this was a large house and people would have lived here looking after the castle itself during the Civil War onwards. Okay guys, so we hope you enjoyed the trip around Kenilworth Castle and I hope you learned a bit more about this historic site. If you do like the video and the work that we do on this channel, then please like, subscribe to the channel and if you've got any additional information that you would like to add in our historical adventures, then please leave a comment. So peace and love to all of you and we hope you continue to support us our channel and the work that we do so we can give you some of the most historical sites in the UK.